Welcome back, I'm Cynic Placebo, and this is American Mickey's Alice. When last we left off, we were in the level called Crazed Clockwork. So I'm curious to see what this one is. Whoa. Starting off right off the bat with Banshees, that's not great. Okay. You know, I wish I knew what all these symbols were. Seems like that would add to the lore of the game, but I don't really know. Dang. Okay, this looks like there's going to be a lot of parkouring. I'm tempted to just skip that level and go straight to this one, yeah. There's like stairs that go down there? Interesting. Uh, doesn't look like I can break these clocks, they're already pre-broken. Alright. I love the effect of the shimmering symbols. That's really cool. Again, I'm, I'm constantly surprised that an old game like this can look as good as it does. Again, I, I realize that this, you know, I'm using mods to make it look better. But still, it just looks fantastic. Sorry, I bumped the microphone there with my <laughs> glasses. Okay, let's see. What will this do? I always like a good lever. Oh, is it going to be, like, timed? I have to, like, now race to the other side and pull another lever? Yeah, I think so. Did I not do it fast enough? Let's see. Mm, no, looks like they're both on. Okay, so what did that do? Uh, oh, it did this, I guess? What's in there? Just, just health? I hear a pig snorting, don't you? What's that about? Oh, there's a cricket down there. That would make me fast, but I'm not sure I want to be fast, because that would make it hard to parkour. All right. A reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object it echoes. Oh no, so some of these aren't real? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so if I were to jump right here, that one's not real. So I gotta hippity hop back and forth. Oh goodness gracious, how am I, how am I supposed to do that without <gasps> overshooting it? Because, yeah, the parkour in this is not my favorite. And I could go that way, but again, it's it's that every other one is missing. Oh, goodness. Well, let's just try to make it over here. All right. Let's pull that and see what happens. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to see if I can just jump all the way to that guy. Yeah, nice. And that means I could jump all the way here, but the question is, do I need to go over to that side, or is that just, like, bonus stuff? So it looks like the only one I could hit would be the second one. I don't know if I can jump that far. Ooh, there we go. And then I'd have to jump straight into there. Oh, this does look like the right way to go. Okay. Um... Whoa! Ah, uh, froze me right off the bat. Ah, uh, come on, let me go. There we go. Ooh. Whoa. Can I move this giant key? Okay. Can I turn the key with, like, cards? Doesn't look like it. The pig snout noise has me confused, because in Alice Madness Returns, you have to, like, try to shoot all those pig snouts. Do I want to drop down there? I'm going to save, because I'm not convinced that this is the right way to go. This might be backward. Yeah, this seems backwards, right? Like we've already been here? Oh, no. Maybe we haven't. Oh, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Yeah, this feels backward. I might load that. Let's see. Oh no, this this is a different place. 
right? Okay. So then what's in here? Oh. This is like Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory. Oh, this is where they make their little borderland psychos. Cut off their skull caps and put them in their little assembly machine. Add the parts and voila! Someone's come to release us. Look. It's just a human, probably ghostless. Undo us, please, from this contraption. Or you could give us tea, if you prefer. Were you impolite at table? Did you slap your tea? Or talk while chewing? Confess your crime. Wow. Judge much, Alice? Okay. We've done nothing of the kind. It's the Hatter. He's gone quite mad, if I do say so. Speaking of which, how is the Queen of Hearts not like a typhoon? Both are powerful, destructive, and indiscriminately cruel. But the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Good answer. Wrong, but good. All right, so oh, it looks I like... I beg your pardon. You are in real danger. Where is your host? Real danger? Are we? Really? Hair, I wish to go home. Evidently, I've worn out my welcome. So this is the Dormouse and the March <laughs> Hare, it looks like? Six charmers clockwork! Misses no opportunity to deny us our tea. Most cruel, I'm sure. And his medicine makes me tired. Alright. Okay, well I saw... I saw a lever in the cutscene. Here it is. Oh! Sorry about that. I didn't mean to electrocute you, mouse. Okay, so now he's turned to the key. Alright. I don't know how to release you guys. Sorry. Uh, you're next. Ooh, creepy. What is he doing to him? Dunking him in water just to see what happens? Weird. Okay, so here's the locked door that had her open. Quick as Mercury and mad from it. He is obsessed with time. Find him on your own time, maybe short. Obsessed with time? Wait, you talking about the White Rabbit? I thought the White Rabbit was dead. Those two seem to barely comprehend their situation. They're blithering idiots. But the Hatter does come at six on the dot. For his tea? No. To check his cruel experiments. With gears, springs, levers, and mechanical gizzards, he seeks an impossible precision. Is that a like griffin? a watchmaker obsessed with infinitesimal fractions of seconds. Or a mathematician who tries to square the circle. He'll turn all the inhabitants into his automatons, or kill them in the attempt. That's simply awful. Six o'clock, you say? Six precisely, by that clock. Hmm. Perhaps six comes early today. Clue number eight from my cash giveaway is that the number of pennies is a thousand less than the year the Declaration of Independence was signed. Now with clues one through eight, you should be able to calculate exactly how many cents the coin giveaway is. So by this clock, six o'clock, oh, I gotta get that. Let's save in case I fall on the liquid. Which I did, but it wasn't so bad. Alright, I've got another demon dice upgrade. Let's. I wanna try it out, but it's dangerous to use the demon dice unless there's an enemy around. Okay. Where am I? Whoa, I'm fallen, that's where I am. Okay, let's save here. 
Come here, little spider thing. Doesn't matter what game you're in, spider things are always bad. Poor spiders, it's not their fault. They don't mean to be creepy. Plus, jumping spiders are downright cute. I need to make a game where jumping spiders is like... Either the protagonist or a sidekick or something. Help the spiders not have such a bad rap. I mean, I could try to hop down there, but that doesn't look important, does it? Well, let's, let's give it a try. Oh, I saved. Whoa! Oh, it bounces you. Oh. Maybe I just have to have gotten all four of these? Maybe the... the Because they, they kind of disappear like buttons? That could be it. Except for I'm really hurt when I do that, but... Oh, that was it! It's like four buttons, except for now I'm super hurt. Alright, weird. Okay... Ah, six o'clock came early, except for I'm almost dead. I need some meta essence. Okay, so I can run away. But is there meta essence? Oh, sorry, I bumped into the microphone again, like an idiot. About fate, huh? Oh good, it regenerated my health. Is that a weapon in the middle? It looks like one, no? It's a scythe! I want it! Maybe I can't get it till I fight these guys? Alright, I'm out of meta essence. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't have any meta essence. The star flags only the Jabba walks by. The way is too near. I understand he's going to be moving down. I doubt time or challenges. I'm speaking of which. Where's the hatter? I don't know where the hatter is. I'm busy with giant robots. Leave me alone, Cheshire Cat. Uh-oh. Well, there's the hatter. Alright, the question is, do I do cards, or do I do frost staff? Ooh, he's got fire, we're going frost. Ooh. Whoa! He launches tea at me. Alright, I need some meta essence. Grab that. Oh, goodness. Okay. Just kind of shooting ice up his crotch. You know, imagine anybody would dislike that. Alright, there we go. Now we got a little more. I mean, if you're bleeding out of your crotch like that, see a doctor ASAP. Whoa. His head explode. Some mana before the Cheshire Cat forces me to move on. Poor Mad Hatter. Or oh wait, there's a there's a weapon up there. No, don't fall, don't fall. Look at that. What is this? This unique watch stops time for a time. Unlike death, time moves on. Those who stood still with time move on also, unless they're dead. Creepy. Oh, and I can't go through there, huh? Oh, alright, there we go. Sweet! So now I have freed the griffin, and I have an ability to stop time for a short time, unless I'm dead. Interesting caveat. Seems like that's true of all weapons. This with weapon works unless you're dead. I offer you my services. Promise only what you're prepared to deliver. Fly me to Mordor! I'm destined to battle the Red Queen. The outcome is uncertain. You won't fight alone. Permit me to serve as your commander. I'll muster the forces whose allegiance your courage and skill have already won. How shall we prepare for battle? An assault on the Queen depends on breaching the gates to her kingdom. Only the Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. If you open the gates, I'll lead the troops to victory. Let us right the wrongs of this world, 
together. Let's do it. Ow, ow, you're pulling out my, my little feathers. Please stop. <laughs> All right, burning curiosity. I think this is where we will call it for the day. Let's just check out this cutscene, and then we will pick up here at burning curiosity next time. Recruit whatever allies you can, Alice. We'll need them all. I'll return with reinforcements. Take heart. All right, thank you for joining me. I've been Cynic Placebo, and we will pick back up at Journey Burning Curiosity next time. Cheers.